Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tell Player Mouse. Today we're going to take ordinary silly putty and these very thick borosilicate glass test tubes that uh, Sam from Subconscious Design made for us. Combine the two and shoot them out of a shotgun. I originally posted this back in January. Had some problems with the music, couldn't resolve that, so I'm just re-uploading it with new narration. A couple years ago we tried to shoot Ublek out of a shotgun. Yeah. And that, of course, just turned into dust. But Silly Putty is also a non Newtonian fluid, and a lot of people don't realize that. And it really is the king of non Newtonian fluids as far as the sheer thickening variety goes. While you can stretch it, pull it, pinch it very easily with your hands, putting it under stress, such as hitting it with this little rod, it doesn't even phase it. In this experiment, we packed the Silly Putty into these thick glass tubes just to see what would happen when we shot it out of a shotgun. So will the Silly Putty protect the glass and distribute the energy, or what? What do you think will happen? Welcome back to the Top Flater Mouse channel on a cold, a blustery California winter day. We're going to run today a, uh, <laughs> let the comments commence. Uh, we have Silly Putty inside of a glass vial, and we're going to try and load these into Jeff's Mossberg here. The only way we can get them loaded in is by inserting them in the barrel first into the breech, and then assembling the shotgun. If you had a brake action, you wouldn't have to do that. Well, I know. <laughs> only we had a brake action. I'm not sure if those are legal in California. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Ah. Made a boom. The glass vial just turned into dust, and that should be an indicator of just how much force a projectile is put under when it's shot out of a shotgun. However, the very bizarre thing is that the silly putty inside there was almost unscathed. I would have thought that the silly putty would have been shattered or cut up, but that just wasn't the case. Even after bouncing off the Kevlar vest and landing on the ground, it was still in the same shape it was when it was put inside the glass vial. Okay, anytime you're ready. Some purple drink. Oh. That one, I actually saw that one. Yeah, I could see it. Is that bouncing down the road there? So once again, the glass shattered, but Bear in mind, these things are flying at a supersonic speed, and that's a pretty harsh environment for anything. And these things just remained in that same shape they were when they're in the glass vial. As far as accuracy goes, they're pretty terrible. We had to keep moving the targets closer and closer until we could actually hit something as big as a gallon jug of water. There we go. Yes. Yes! After three shots and moving the jug much closer, we were able to hit it finally. While many may think that a jug of water would be kind of a soft target, a projectile traveling at that kind of velocity hitting it is like hitting a, a cement wall. For example, if you shot this with a expanding hollow point bullet, it would actually cause the bullet to fully expand and almost bring it to a dead stop. So what do you think happened to our silly putty slug? You think it just splattered like the water or do you think there's anything left? Let's look. Now this is what we found. We found just the tail. The interesting part about this is that tail of the slug actually hit the jug first, yet it's still very recognizable and still stretchy. Okay, I'm ready. Woohoo, yes! The block of clay is really interesting to shoot because it doesn't act like a non-Newtonian fluid. It acts more like a thick colloidal suspension. In other words, it acts more like a liquid than it does a solid. Now, if you shoot this block with a rifle round or just a really heavy, powerful slug, it, it really behaves much like a liquid where you get the hydrostatic action where all the energy is transferred outwards and uh, all the particles kind of 
push against each other and cause the clay to just blow apart. So we found most of our putty tube here, which has been damaged by the uh, impact. Another little piece, tip of it there. And you can kind of see in here where the uh, flying glass shards Ew. are hitting and impacting, uh, making little pock marks in there like Swiss cheese. And there you have it, a wonderful demonstration on just how tenacious Silly Putty is as a non-Newtonian fluid. Able to hold up to that intense shock of being shot and accelerated to supersonic speeds, not damaged at all by the glass shards that are surrounding it, and can fly through the air without being deformed and impacting the targets and still remaining a recognizable shape. Thank you so much for watching.